<laughs> Hello, welcome to our luau. <laughs> we are so excited to be here to celebrate the release of the Summer of Lost and Found with the fabulous and gorgeous Mary Alice Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so much fun. I was, I have to say, ladies, we look very good. <laughs> I think this is a good look for us. <laughs> we have, and look at this, ladies. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> we are ready for the beach and for a luau. <laughs> yeah, exciting. We are, we are indeed. And thank you, Mary Alice, for our festive attire. <laughs> we even have our anklet. So we're all ready to go and, and hopefully <laughs> we're we're ready for Mary Alice to share some really neat things with us this evening about her uh, book about to be released, The Summer of Lost and Found. <gasps> yes. And yes, why we have the attire. <laughs> yeah, we're ready for the beach is what we're saying. <laughs> mm. it's summertime, it's beautiful here in Isla Palm. We have a beautifully sunny sky, warm temperatures. People are opening up the swimming pools. The ocean's still a little chilly, so we're not quite diving in yet. It stays chilly for a couple months, but everybody, the turtles are here. We, this week, just this week, we have two nests. We, so oh, we're on, as Sherlock Holmes said, it, the game is on. And we have um, false crawl, which means that today, there might've been one today, I have to get the update. But it's um, so exciting. Everyone's pulling out and dusting off their equipment. The people are walking the beach already. It's true. Oh, that's awesome. That is, that is just fabulous. And I know everybody is excited about hearing more from not just the turtles, but from the Rutledge family and everyone oh, no. in the summer of Lost and Found. Most of the Rutledge family are turtle ladies anyway. <laughs> That's right, absolutely. Well, before we really get started, we just wanna say that we wanna celebrate Mary Alice tonight. So if you have any well wishes or comments for her, please put them in the chat and we will share some with her. And also if you are dressed in any type of summer attire, luau, anything like that, please post your pictures on the book club page and use the hashtag Mam Luau because we will be picking winners and Mary Alice is very generous with her prizes, which we'll announce later this evening. <laughs> and I, I want to tell you, I, and I can't scroll back and find it, but someone asked us where our grass skirts were. Ah, you know what? I almost got them for you, but I realized, you know, you'll have to yeah, use you can't the see. I'm wearing mine, of course. I have mine on. I don't know. Don't what you guys see are it? Talking about. Yeah, we're going to say that. That's that's my story, too. I have mine on underneath <laughs> this. And you should see the coconut top I have. <laughs> it looks great, girls. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You know, the truth yeah. is we don't know what we have on underneath our, our tops. And it's funny because um, the other girls and I are always saying that we used to have to wear dresses. Now we just have to get blouses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like the official Zoom, you know, the Zoom wardrobe. It's like party on top and like pajamas on the bottom. <laughs> the time and pajamas on the bottom. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> so much fun. That is hilarious. Well, Mary Alice, we know that it's still four days until your official publication date for the Summer yes. of Austin Found, but I know that you're doing some events already. Tell us what your week has been like and what your week's going to be like next week as you approach that big day. You know, increasingly the launches are tend to be like today, a few days in advance. It's just so that launch day is boom. So last night, I, well, for the last several years, I have, as you know, I'm a member of the um, board of the South Carolina Aquarium. So we don't dress like this when we're working with sea turtles and we're on the board. But um, I've had huge events at the aquarium. And those were big launches, you know, three to 400 people. And they opened up the aquarium for the party and people could wander around with music and wine. And I'm telling you all this because hopefully we'll do it again next year. But the, of course, last year, everything was canceled. 
And this year, again, it was virtual. So we had Wednesday night, a wonderful virtual event at the South Carolina Aquarium. It's not the same, but a lot of people showed up and we had tours of the virtual tours and you saw all the patients. So that's, that's always the kickoff whenever I do a beach house book. And it, so I will do it again in the future. And you're all invited and it's really worth Yay. the trip. And if I do an event like next year too, uh, even if we come, we're thinking about getting together in January at Wild Dunes. Um, we're setting up a date, the Fab Five, all of us together. Yay. And they have a gorgeous new hotel. And if, if that happens, and I'm sure it is going to happen, I just have to get the date, usually around the second to third week in January. We are going, we get discount rates at the hotels and everyone, but I will, I take a private tour of the aquarium for that. So, uh -huh. um, and you go on top of the tanks where no one else is allowed, but I can get you in. And so, <laughs> so that yeah, was connection. <laughs> you got connection. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, it's a little more quiet and not so many turtles in the winter time. Then we, um, I started off with uh, a lot of stock signings. I, I, this is when we go to the bookstores and we, stop, we sign all the books for stock so that they can have everything signed locally when the store is open. So if you, for me, that would be Buxton Books in Charleston and they have a lot of signed books. And I went today to a little sweet, the Scottish woman who opened up a bookstore just before COVID. Mm -hmm. And right here in Mount Pleasant, so the village bookseller. So she has signed books and we'll probably do an event with her one, one day on Friends in Fiction and Blue Bicycle Books, who is going to be the bookseller for the children's books. So um, you go around and do all those. Today though, we have Callie's Biscuit. Now it's no competition to Mama G's. They're not, <laughs> these are the fresh biscuits that are sold nationwide. You have them in Atlanta, I know. There's a Callie's Biscuits. And so I had a luncheon with, Carrie, who is, her mother is Callie, but Carrie is the one who created the company, this young entrepreneur. And we had the most beautiful organic uh, brunch with shrimp and grits and Callie's biscuits and my diet is gone, but who cares? Cause it was <laughs> pimento cheese, mm, mm. Southern fare. So I'm slowly, slowly getting into it, but it really starts kicking in now this week. And I should probably tell you what's coming up. You should, and let's let's do that in just a moment. We have a surprise guest to 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 pop in tonight. Oh my and goodness! Let me. I'm not going to even try to do sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I can't compete with Patty. <laughs> I'm going to say ding dong. <laughs> Woo! Someone's here. <laughs> it's a newcomer. <laughs> And I hope she's coming in. There she is. It is our One of book our great member. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. You Marilyn. are beautiful. I love the coral. <laughs> I got my lace. Um, yes. Well, I just want to congratulate you on the release of The Summer of Lost and Found. I cannot wait to read it. I read the Beach House series when we were going to read a book for the book club. I just got them all and read them as fast as I could to read the last one in time. <laughs> and I fell in love with that series. That it really touched my heart. So I'm, lo I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. I, and I wanted to ask you, you have the spirit of lovey woven all throughout the series. And I wondered if you had personal experience with the spirit in your life that influenced you. Oh, well, it's, wow, that's a, a, a very profound question. Love the it. book was written, my mama died of, um, she had cancer and it went into her throat and she did the cough. So in many ways, the book was a love letter to my mother. And even though she wasn't lovey completely, she was delicate and she was, she loved to, to flirt with the men and she had, a, you know, that, and she loved art. She was a ballerina when she was young. But um, I have had, I strongly sense the presence of others when they pass. And I've had, I've always have had, but when I was about 30, 
I've, I had a near death experience. And this was before, um, well, I didn't know I was gonna go here tonight, but this is before <laughs> anyone knew, I didn't even know what a near death experience was, follow the light. All the things that are in our lexicon now was not in the early eighties. And I didn't know what had happened. And when I came back, my, my life changed. You can't go through something like that and not have your life change. But ever since then, I've been very sensitive to the other side. And it's not that I see ghosts or anything, but it's a con you sense that connection because you know it's there. You know, you know that there's another life after this. And you know that, that they're with us still. It's a very comforting, beautiful, and I think that's why my connection with wildlife is so profound is that I had that experience and I'm open to the connection. And I think in our technological society, so many of us are told, oh, you're woo-woo. Oh, she's nuts. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Because that's not what we consider um, oh, reasonable. But if you go back to the days of the shamans, they knew they had this power. It was in us and it still resides deep in us, that deep sense of intuition. And Joseph Campbell said that artists, and I think we all are artists, are the shamans of today. That we put our ear to the ground and we sense what's coming. And this is a power that I encourage with people connected with wildlife, connected with nature, connecting with your dogs that we just, we all have a dog or a cat that you know when you look in their eyes, that connection. So to answer your question, there's not so much a one person as much as a sense of other that is godlike, I believe. That's very, right. very nice. Beautiful. Thank you. Very beautiful. Oh, thank you. So much. I, I just wanted to say that, you know, with this being Mother's Day and your book coming out in just a few days, it's just a perfect time. And I can't look. I can't get it fast enough. <laughs> Thank you. The mother-daughter connection. It, actually, you're going to laugh at the mother-daughter story in this book because, you know, Linnea has, uh, loves her mother and that on Ocean Boulevard connected again. But her mentor has always been Kara, her aunt, not her mother. And what happens in this book is, it's the funniest book I've ever written. So you're going to really laugh when you see what poor Julia, she, she tries hard in this book. Mother daughter is a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. And Marilyn, that was a great question. Thanks so yes. much for coming, Ooh, for coming thank on you tonight. Thank for having me. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. That was a very good question. Thank you. And make sure you post your picture on the page. You look beautiful. Dude, you look lovely. Yeah. Lovely. I so here. I've been waiting to do that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Marilyn thank you for joining yeah. us that was beautiful oh, that was so beautiful she was so sweet and have my fancy drink look I have a palm tree oh yes and, and Lisa has some uh, comments I think in the chat that she's going to read here in just a yeah. minute I would oh, like to share I love you all some love <laughs> Jill Malia says I am a fan of yours for many years and I attended the event last year at the South Carolina Aquarium, and I attended this year. It oh, was wonderful. Thanks. Following you last year led me to this wonderful group of authors and now friends. I can't wait to read your new book. It's not summer without a book from you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Mary says, ooh, this comment, I think we might have to raise our toast for this one. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Mary ready. says, Congratulations, Mary Alice Monroe, on CNN announcing The Summer of Lost and Found is one of the most anticipated books of May. <laughs> I know, national yes. to The Summer of Lost and Found. Summer of Lost and Found. Hmm. That's fabulous. Right. Lisa. I found that out this morning, so it's that's a big one. That's really yes. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope yes, and our book Reese, call members. If you're out there, I hope you notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Well, we have Lisa. You, do you have more comments? Are we? No, we can. Okay, move on. I think that we have another another guest for this evening. Oh. But I'm hoping the iPhone is our friend 
D, is that I you? This is me. Is that D? Hi, D. Oh, hello. <laughs> we can't see you. We can't see you. Push the little button that says video on the bottom or tap for video. See, I told you I wasn't tech savvy. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> well, we'll take you at just your voice. Yes, there you go. Yay! I'm put this on since Look at you. Yay! <laughs> I okay, got it. So you two little... have to take your photo. I love the glasses in the back. What? <laughs> the glasses you have in the back. Oh, and yes, behind you. Yeah. He's got the setup. Kiki glasses. Aluau. Aluau in, in a Ohio. Coconut. <laughs> oh, you? I can't reach it. But it's even got the umbrella in it. But oh, I, my goodness. Here, I'm pretending like it's a friends and fiction one. But <laughs> it looks just like it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, it's it's like it does look. On it. <laughs> it does look just like it. Well, it does. A little bit different color. <laughs> Dee, thank you for coming. Dee's been with me for a long time. Oh, it's yeah. So yes, I have. Yeah. I think The Beach House was the first book I read of oh, yours. Oh, wow. That's the original. Show how small that is. Dang. That's <laughs> this little book is the book that started it all. Oh, awesome, Dee. A Little Mass Market. Is that the one with a picture in the back? I don't think so. Okay, there's one. Let me see if I can show you. It's um, same. The first, did, they didn't, in the, I didn't, you know, it was my first, I knew I wrote something different. I knew it was special. And it was just a mass market. I put it out. I know Simon Schuch was like, boy, oh boy, we wish we had that book. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Look. Oh, wow. Oh, it is there. Yeah. You got it. So instead of, oh, you got it. This is the original. And these are like rare as hen's teeth. So if anybody has it, keep it. But instead of a picture of me, I wanted the whole turtle team. So oh, um, that's so nice. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Oh my gosh. 20 years. Super. Well, it's too bad I can't see you visually this year. I mean, uh, in life year so visuals has to be the way we go <laughs> yes i know we're going to have a party we we're saying at the aquarium again Oop, i've got the lights coming in from sunset but I'm luckily sorry. we have the we have friends in fiction and we have the book club to kind of help us through this yeah. time that yeah. we're all i certainly am grateful for this past year i uh, thank, you. thank you we all are i oh, i've got a do, do you see the sunlight coming in yes oh, just yeah. a little I'm in Hawaii. I've got the light. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Well, we need that sun in Hawaii, don't we? Yes, we do. That's right. We can't get rid of it. It's everywhere. I love well, it. Congratulations, Mary Alice. I can't wait to get your book. Thank you. I'm any day now, any day. I, I ordered it from Blue Bicycle, is where I ordered mine. So. I don't know. I was just signing stock today. I would have personalized it. Oh. Well, first of all, oh, well. I'll, I'll send you a personalized. Anybody who wants from this group, anybody who wants a, something personalized, just um, I, I, I tell you what, why don't we post on the Friends and Fiction Book Club page um, a, my address that you can request it and I will mail it to you. Okay, oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Personalized. I'm going to jump up and close that. Hold on, guys. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a little a little dance pause. We'll take a, a little breather. Yeah, we still have to find out about Mary Alice's upcoming events this week, too. So we got yeah. still, our time is flying by, our little luau. <laughs> Thank you, you so you much. You have to post oh, a picture, too, on the page. What's that? You have Make to sure enter the content. The picture. So I just oh, yes. okay. I think you automatically win just by the glasses behind you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that effort back there. <laughs> oh, well, we'll leave that up to uh, uh, to uh, Mary Alice's prerogative. Thank you so much for joining us, Dee. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for popping on. Thank you, Mary Alice. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye, bye Dee. Thank you. Uh -huh.
Oh, that was such, such a treat. Such a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Am I off? No, oh, you're oh, still on. You're still there. <laughs> <laughs> Video button again. Mm. Stop. Oh, you're on your iPhone. Push on the little green button on top. Did I? You In lost. The top left corner is a little green button. Brenda, Push that I button. think you can end it for her. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I can. Yeah. Wow. She's so sweet. She is so sweet. You know, Dee's so the, excited all day. She's the pink corset. I know. <laughs> we weren't going to say that. <laughs> we weren't going to bring it up. <laughs> it is oh, hilarious, it's though. Go down and in for me in the stories of the funniest stories that ever happened to you as an author. That's definitely one of them. Which had nothing to do with you at all, really. But nothing. I mean, it had nothing. It was nothing that you did. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this just defies imagination. I know. <laughs> Totally. Well, Mary Alice, could you tell us about some of your upcoming events? To Thank launch? you. I'm looking here at my schedule. Um, tomorrow, for anyone locally, it's big news because Barnes & Noble hasn't had any live signings. So the town center is the big home store for a lot of big authors. It's my home store. It's Dorothy Benton. It was Dorothy Benton Frank's home store. Pat Conrad used to come here all the time. So it's because we all are. It's our store. And it's a, it, it, I look at Barnes and Noble like a, a brick and mortar indie these days. It's owned by Waterstones and it's each store is run like an independent store now where each, each manager can make his or her own decisions. So this is the first book signing at this Barnes and Noble in over a year. So I'll be there tomorrow from three to five in town center. So that's a biggie for us. I'm going to be on, oh, I'm going to Patty's neck of the woods in Palmetto Bluff, in Bluffton, South Carolina on oh. Monday. So I'll be there at Palmetto Bluff, but I think that's private from four to six. And then at the Storybook Shop, which is right in the heart of Bluffton tomorrow, 12 to two. And that is South Carolina's only children's bookstore. So we're going to do a talk a little bit about the middle grade book too. Then Fripp Island, which is where Pat Conroy's home was. And I'm having a big luncheon there with his wife, Cassandra King Conroy. And uh, it's a beautiful, you know, a lot of turtle lovers out there. So we'll be doing that. Uh, that's um, Tuesday, May 11th. But all of you can join me Tuesday night, a really, really big launch night. This is launch day. I'm at Browse About Books with Lisa Wingate. And that'll be at five o'clock, five to six, it's a virtual event and all the um, links are on my website and we'll put it up on my Facebook page. And then another big friend of Friends in Fiction is Alan Hildebrand. And that same night, Tuesday night, launch night, I'll be with Alan at seven o'clock in conversation at Bookstore One in Sarasota. So I'm going down to Florida virtually and you're all invited to do that. Those are the two, those are really big virtual events with Lisa and Ellen. I have That's some fun. of the most incredible virtual events coming up. I'm going to be speaking with Delia Owens at the Tattered Bookstore. I'm going to be speaking with William Kent Kruger at, at um, Bookstall in Illinois. But all these, uh, y'all can join all of them. I'm speaking with Christina McMorris, who is so great. Oh. She's the honorary other Fab Five, Fab five Fab yes. six, right? Yeah. Um, let's see, I'm with, of course, Ron Block, and y'all know Ron Block, your cohort and crime yeah. over there with Ron <laughs> Block. And Ron then, Block actually said, sent a message in the chat and said, happy luau, and he said, you look beautiful. So thank you. <laughs> Ron, I know, we're really <laughs> looking forward to Ron. And Ron is also, um, we're trying to organize something with Ron for the wonderful book, Reunion Beach. And that's the anthology that we wrote for in memory of Dorothy Ben Frank. And it just hit the New York Times. So another toast. Another toast. <laughs> the Union Beach. Union Beach and Dottie Frank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, Patty Callahan, Henry, and I joined Ellen Hildebrand, Adriana Trigiana, Adriana, Adriana Trigiani for the short stories, but also Cassandra wrote a, sto uh, a story and 
a lot of poetry. Natalie Dupree, who we had on Friends in Fiction, wrote a memoir and recipes. Her family wrote beautiful comments. So Reunion Beach is a very special book. I loved um, your story in it. Thank you, the mother child. Oh, I'm so glad you know, Lisa. I think it's one of the best things I've ever written. I and loved isn't that it. Interesting. That was your first short story experience. It was. I I really worked hard because I, I had to learn the medium, number one. I took it very, very seriously. Not only did I wanted to do a good job, but it was my farewell to, to Dottie. And I the story is actually based on a true story of my cousin who was adopted. And her, she had her mother Munchausen by proxy, which is the most bizarre mental illness. And that's when a mother wants to make a child sick so she can be the mother of a sick child. And so I used that as the story. And this is, it's a really fascinating story of the mother who gave a child up or released a child for adoption. That's the current way to say it. But it's not when they it's not about them getting together because that's after it's about before so you have the mother preparing for the visit and then the point of view of the daughter and all that you know is they're carrying with them and then they meet and that's it the rest i thought my goodness that's the beginning of a, of a novel maybe I should yeah <laughs> i was gonna say i was leaning in and didn't even realize <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the story, right? What's in right. anticipation? What is she going to say? Why did I give her up? Why did she give me up? What was her life like? What was my life like? All these questions come together. So I put that in. It, it's, it was a lot in a short story. That's fabulous. Yeah. And, and to think that that was your first short story, it is just amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think think that it's time for us to announce the prizes, the fabulous prizes that Mary Alice is so generously giving away for our contest. As a reminder, if you post your picture on the book club page, not in the comments, but on the book club page, make an individual post with your picture in your summer luau festive costumes. <laughs> and the hashtag and use the hashtag ma'am luau. So okay, ma'am, that's my name, you know, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma <laughs> that's my nickname, ma'am. And you can post your pictures until 12 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. So you have time to get your pictures and your entries in. But she is going to be, and there can be more than one winner. We won't say how many, but she is going to be giving away your choice of one of the following books from the Beach House Heart series. Hardcovers. <laughs> it could be On Ocean Boulevard. Um, whoops, my screen just went away. On Ocean Boulevard, Beach House for Rent or Beach House Reunion, your choice. And then you will also get one of the well sought after Friends in Fiction non plastic straw kit. Oh, yes, where is that? Here it is. So you will have a choice of which sign and you will get one of those as well. I so, understand. I really love this. Look, I didn't get to show it the other night. It telescopes. I oh, love that. And it that's has cool. this little silicone tip. And look at this. It has a little brush that you can clean. Oh, well, that's I love just that. fancy. When you're done, I mean, I, you know how I feel about no plastic straws. When you're done, you just pop it in your little case and shut it off. You can carry it in your purse. I love that. I use metal straws and sometimes I always like chip my tooth or I'll hit my, I'm like, oh. No, that's why so I cold. have a on tip. And <laughs> it's also nice because in the summertime, it keeps your drink cold. If you put it in your glass with ice, it keeps the drink cold as you sip it up. So I've got this down, everybody. I picked the very best. But here is on Ocean Boulevard, of course. I know the summer of lost and found. And you get a choice of, yep, Beach House for Rent. And let's see, give me a Beach House Reunion. Here we go. <laughs> give me a Beach House Reunion, yes. <laughs> I'm ready for a Beach House Reunion. reunion. 
<laughs> and that's where the surfing starts out that the kids start. What was the other one? It was On Ocean Boulevard. Yep. And that's the last summer's book. And I will say, if, if D and Marilyn are examples, the competition is going to be fierce. So get those photos. <laughs> I may have to give out two more. I think we. I think I may have to give out more, ladies. <laughs> well, there is one other announcement I like to make to do another toast, and I don't even know Mary Alice doesn't even know this yet. But as of this morning, the book club has reached six thousand members. <laughs> so cheers! <laughs> woo. Thank you. Here's 6,000 you members of the best book club in the world. Oh, oh aren't we lucky you. to have Lisa and Brenda here as our guides. Here's to Lisa oh, and Brenda. Oh, it's all because of you, ladies. It's because of you and guys. It's all of you. It's Thank because you. of you guys. I want to say from my heart that, and I know I speak for all five of us, we are so grateful to all of you for your, you, you have really embraced us and our books and we truly are grateful and we thank you so much. And when y'all come up and you say, hi, I see you on Friends in Fiction and we love, you got us through the pandemic and we love you. I mean, it, we're getting all teary eyed. It's, it means the world and this book club, 6,000 strong says it all. So here's to you, all of you, cheers. Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. Oh, Lisa's going to start. <laughs> I know, I was like, I'm not going to hear you. Like, I can see it. Peanut butter called me out. <laughs> Indeed, we did. Woo. That's Woo. our emotion. <laughs> Brenda, I got to see you do this. I see Lisa. Just, there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I feel like my arms aren't very attractive to do that. <laughs> Oh yes, there. Yeah, that was Ooh. that was so sweet. And I, on behalf of of all of the book club members, I want to say thank you for everything that y'all have brought to us during this time. And we just are so excited to to continue reading and to continue exploring with with the authors. Thank you, thank you. And it means the world that you invited me to celebrate the launch of my new book. It's there's a lot of launches going on this year, so I bet you pay attention to each one. It means the world. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mary Alice. It has been a pleasure to pre-launch the Summer of Lost and Found with you this evening with our little luau. And I'm looking forward to those photos from everybody. I will. Yeah, me too. I'll be checking in. Love you. Take Love care, you. everybody. Bye. Have a great hub day on Tuesday. Thank you. Come join Ellen and I and Lisa and I. Everybody, you're welcome. Oh, yay. All righty. Thanks. Bye-bye.